since things got serious, if you will, mm -hmm. um, is the feeling that, well, in Africa, and like mm -hmm. you said, it's a continent, okay? It's huge. Yeah, um, yeah, I, it's yeah. kind of hard to say for the whole continent, but what they were saying mm -hmm. is that in Africa, because there was, and specifically malaria, okay, anti-malaria mm -hmm. drugs, that there wasn't mm -hmm. coronavirus or that it wasn't a risk or that there was like a vaccine or people were here. I mean, what were you hearing actually from the inside of, you were in the continent, right? You're in Africa, country of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Do you, have you heard anything about that? Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about that? Um, so, so what I can say, uh, what I can say is, um, so again, it's 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 something that most people don't really know the origin of. Like people don't know what what's even today. People don't know what coronavirus is, right? Uh, and that is something that the government is investing on, um, trying to see how they could make people know through media or you know television or something or through SMS. Like I keep getting SMS every day from the government saying, "Hey, you need to wash your hands and all that stuff." Oh, um, interesting. Yeah, but yeah, but at the same time, I believe that countries like the U.S. is kind of also responsible for making people panic a lot. First, the numbers is growing crazy, right? And people are like, if the U.S. can be in this situation right now, then imagine a country with smaller economy, like compared to that of the U.S. What are we going to do? You know, like country like Nigeria, for example. And there was a 5G thing, like the, the, the you know, when, when, yeah, the 5G I, conspiracy was huge. It still is. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't want to mention names. Somebody said the Chinese virus. You know, there's a lot of things that was going on. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> you know? We can mention Some, names. This is an open environment. <laughs> the fucking yeah. Trump, we can say it. <laughs> yeah, somebody said the Chinese virus. Somebody said, uh, you know, there's a lot of things, you know. And, and again, it's, it's, and as much as I, I so I'm a person that I don't really, uh, and one thing I've learned, you know, in, in childhood, because I not just travel to that of the U.S. and all that, I go to different parts and I get to understand different cultures and how people react. And I think that kind of makes me much better human in a I way that couldn't there's, agree some certain more. Things, there's some certain things that I deem racist and there's some certain things that I don't deem racist. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not just qualified for some things. Doesn't, doesn't make me, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't say that the person is trying to be racist. So for example, um, I don't know Python, and I know I might be good in all that stuff. And the person say, hey, I'm sorry, but I can't give you this job. That doesn't give me the right to say you're racist because I'm black, you know, this kind of stuff. I, people do that a lot, right? And I'm not in that position to start pointing fingers, but I'm in a position where I believe everybody's human and everybody has the opinion uh, uh, in a way that they could edit, whatever. So there's a lot of things that is going on. I know for sure that there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a problem between the U.S. and China in terms of who is going to be the biggest, who's going to control 5G. You know, that, that has been happening a lot of time before coronavirus came in. You know, the issue with Huawei ban, um, Trump saying, hey, companies in the U.S. can't, um, you know, work with Chinese companies and all that stuff. And, and then, you know, China, and then people somewhere, somewhere trying to tie in the conspiracy of saying, hey, the 5G, the millimeter wave thing can, you know, do some radio, radioactive stuff. You know, people, you know, just ignorance you know you don't really know the tech you don't really know much about the technology yes it might be harmful but so does your smartphone so does your microwave so does your you know multiple things right so given the fact that some media in the u.s um in or some places in europe but again media in the u.s started talking about this and one thing i've noticed is some africans i, I would say majority of africans consume a lot of international content and that kind of made a lot of panic. In fact, I think that's one of the reasons I believe Africans, as much as I believe Africans would have prepared more on the virus, it made them relax a little bit. That one, it's not, okay. So the black community in the US say, hey, it's a virus that attacked the white people. That was what the black people say. And it was public. And then people in Africa was like, it's not a black disease. It's not a disease that can affect the black man because the black man have much stronger immune system just i don't know where that choice is coming from stronger immune system so the virus can and africa is harder like harder you know sun and all that stuff and there's a there was a there was some kind of a theory that um the coronavirus can, can, can survive in the surface with a heated temperature in this particular in, in a particular duration so given the fact that it can easily just get um, close to 27 to 30 degrees 
or sessions of, 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 of heat in, 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 in some part of Africa, even worse in some part of Africa, that kind of made it much easier for them to say, hey, you know, we are much better positioned than that of China, you know, in the US or Europe, which much colder climate and all that, right? So I think that, 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 that kind of made it, that, that's one of the reasons why all these things happened. And I believe that is one of the reasons why this number keeps growing because of the, the, the ignorance of the people. Again, based on what, 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 they, what they hear and see online. Yeah, it's, um, man, Samson, you just brought up so many interesting things that we could dig into. But what you said at the very end is absolutely true. It comes down to the ignorance of the people. Are you choosing to just listen to what the news tells you? Which, mm-hmm. that is crazy. I never heard in the U.S. That, it, that white people are getting it more than black people. In fact, it's actually quite the opposite. Not because of yeah, anything yeah. to do with skin color. Yeah. It has to do with economics in the U.S. and yeah. our systems of that, oppression. That, that, and what has happened yeah. so then to hear that that somehow translated all the way to like where you are is crazy exactly. yeah right, it because, just comes because, down to do you choose to listen to the bullshit or do you educate yourself on the actual facts and what's going on right true because i, I was i was paying so i, so I watched trevor Noah's show uh, he's, he's a funny guy uh not not because of the his primary targets i again i'm not <laughs> i'm not a huge fan of trying to call people up anyways but i just love the way he he say things in a very professional way and trying to Ooh. make it educative as possible. Trevor, Trevor, Trevor Noah. Trevor Hall. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Trevor, Trevor Noah from The Daily Show. Trevor Noah. Ah, yes. Yeah, I from know The Daily Show, yeah. About. So, yeah, yeah. so when, when, he made a, when he made a statement, he says that the black people in the U.S. were saying, hey, it's a, it's a white people's disease. And then I think two weeks later, he was like, hey, it's quite the opposite. But then he was showing some videos, which was a bit funny. I think, um, I think that video even moved from the U.S. down to Africa because I saw it somewhere on Twitter that, so, okay, so I think, I, 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 think I, I, I think I think somewhere within Florida, I'm sure it's somewhere within Florida. So there were some bunch of people around the seaside, you know, beach, and there were some interviews of telling people, hey, why are you not doing I'm social distancing? You know, why, why are you not home? Right? And somebody was like, somebody was like, yes, the spring break. Somebody was like, hey, I, I don't care about coronavirus. Um, I, I, you know, life is, life is, life is worse. I have to live my life. Uh, coronavirus or no coronavirus, I have to come out and party, right? It's not of my business. Like, statement like that was like, whoa. And then seeing those statements coming, given the fact that how the media is or how the, 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 comp- the, the, the uh, I'm just trying to look for the word right now, but given the way how the media has, has placed all these things, it makes it much easier for people to believe. And then the 5G thing happened, and then there's some heated war between the, the Chinese government. And, and, and the U.S. and then Africa was just in the, in the middle, trying to, trying, to, trying to look for who to blame, right? And then they were like, support, uh, I can speak from Nigeria anyways, there was some support from the Chinese government. Um, well, they tr- I, I don't want to say support because it's the same country that, that failed to help out Africans in China. But there were some videos, evidence of people harassing Africans in China and one of the diplomats from Nigeria was, 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 was had a heated conversation with one of the, the officials in China. And then um, the, the embassy, the, the ambassador for the, the, the China, uh, China to Nigeria was, 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 was summoned by the government. And they were trying to see the reason why, you know, people in China were doing this kind of stuff. But then there was, there was some heated conversations of, you know, Africans threatening China, China threatening Africa. It was just some bunch of stuff going on. That I, at least on Twitter, something I saw on Twitter. It's not, it's not something I've seen in person because I haven't, you know, I've been in, indoors for four weeks and I live in a much, uh, I, I, I don't live in, in China. I don't live in, you know, in, in South Africa. So I can't, I can't speak for South Africans. But it's something I've seen on Twitter, people raging. It's not even about safety now. It's just who to blame and just a bunch of rage. You know, that's, mm-hmm, that's how I see mm-hmm. what's going on right now. Yeah. Yeah, because people are, like you said, you've been indoors for four weeks. In China, they've been indoors for four months, you know? 